When people first arrived in Australia as early as 65,000 years ago, sea levels were around 80 metres lower than they are today. The continental shelf was dry, adding a staggering 2 million square kilometres of extra land where people lived. While some archaeological sites may have been destroyed by rising seas, many are likely to have survived. Our team set out to locate the first submerged ancient Aboriginal archaeological sites on the Australian seabed in the waters of Western Australia. Until now, archaeologists have only speculated about how people may have used those now submerged lands and whether any traces remain to be found today. For the last four years, a team of archaeologists, geomorphologists, geologists, specialist pilots and scientific divers have collaborated with the Murujuga Aboriginal Corporation on the Deep History of Sea Country project to find and record submerged archaeological sites. Environmental data and radiocarbon dates demonstrate that these sites must be older than 7,000 years based on when they were submerged by rising seas. In the final phase of the research, our team of scientific divers carried out underwater archaeological surveys to physically examine, record and sample the seabed. Our study demonstrates that not only can archaeological sites exist on the seabed, but in some cases, the items belonging to ancient peoples can remain undisturbed for thousands of years. In Murujuga, this adds substantial additional evidence to support the deep time history of human activities accompanying rock art production in this important National Heritage listed place. We discovered two underwater archaeological sites. The first site, at Cape Prugier, comprises hundreds of stone artefacts on the seabed at depths down to 2.4 metres below sea level. At the second site, in Flying Foam Passage, we discovered traces of human activity associated with a submerged freshwater spring 14 metres below the sea. Based on the finds presented here, we are confident that many other submerged sites will be found in the years to come. These will challenge our current understandings and lead to a more complete account of our human past. <laughs>